What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Travis, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah, let's go right ahead and uh, take care of business right here, because in our last episode, we won our fifth badge against Clement, and, uh, well, now it is time for us to move on to Route 14. Now, I may have mentioned that, yeah, we're going to skip all this, because, well, there's really a... There really, are, there really isn't anything important to see right here. That and uh, I may have said that I might, I might do something a little different with like you know Pokemon and all that stuff. Kind of realized that you know what I like the team that I have right here. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna move on forward with what we got right here. And uh, let's see, I need to find Route 14, another place. Let's see, services, uh, Fufu. Another place. Good gravy. Let's see. Shopping. Find ID. You know what? Screw it. We're just gonna we're just gonna go to Route 14 and see where where we're at right here. It's not that far. It's right there. Holy crud. Okay, I didn't realize that. Okay, so we're gonna be going into Route 14, and uh, well, let's see what what we can actually find right here. Let's see. Talk to this lady. Cafes sure are straight places, don't you think? People sitting in the cafe watch the people who walk past, and the people who walk past watch the people who are sitting in the cafe, which is true. And uh, greetings, sir. This gate is to Route 14, so let's go right ahead and get to Route 14. And as you guys can see, here is Route 14. We're going to yell that. Hello, Sensei. And as you guys can see, yes. Yeah, the crew is here. They want to talk to us and all that crud. So, let's see. Oh, hi, Sensei. We were just completing, uh, uh, comparing how our complete our Pokedexes are. I won, of course. I'll leave following up the Pokedex to you guys, Trevor. I don't like it when everybody does the same thing anyway. Sensei, let's compare how many Pokemon we've seen just like we always do. And this time, let's compare how many Pokemon we've seen in the Mountain Kalos region. To put it another way, I am challenging you to an, uh, my own kind of Pokemon battle. So, you've seen 16 kinds. Oh, man, how frustrating. There sure are many kinds of Pokemon in the Kalos region. Now it's my turn. Let's have a Pokemon battle, Draven. Whatever you say, homegirl. So, here it is, guys, another Pokemon battle. And this time, it is time against, uh, or it is against our girlfriend right here, Serena. So, she's going to be coming out with her Biasic. And, uh, well... Your boy here is coming out with the Goat Jordan himself. Let's go bomb or Seed Bomb right here. And yes, of course, we're going to get faked out because, yeah. We're going to waste a turn right here. So let's go with the Leech Seed attack. And oh my god, you have got to love this move. Disarming voice. So here we go, Leech Seed. Okay. And uh, yes, you're going to be returning some of our HP that you've been taking away from us. And, uh... Well, there you go. Let's go right ahead and go with a Seed Bomb attack. And this Pokemon is getting on my god dang nerve. So, next move is probably going to be Bulldoze. Just to do that. So, here we go. Seed Bomb. And there we go. A little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of that. And, well... Let's go right ahead and use that Bulldoze attack. Even though it's not going to really... Not, it's the, yeah, it's really not going to matter right here. So... Here we are taking a Psychic Attack, and here comes Bulldoze for the win. And just like that, Meowsic has been defeated. Suck it. Okay. And Star Fox grows to level 45, and, well, here comes Absol. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Nacho Libre himself. Alrighty, let's go, Nacho. And, uh, well, <sighs> let's see. Here comes Absol. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and use a Flying Press attack right here. And the Flying Press. Here it comes. For the win. And there you go. Say goodbye. And Nacho gets some more points. And here comes Greninja. We're going to stick by with the same Pokemon right here because Greninja is now a Dark-type Pokemon as well. So Flying Press will actually do good. And here comes a Water Shiyukin. And uh, this is a multiplier attack right here, so there we go again. And here we go again. Wow, the luck. The luck on this Pokemon right here. Seriously. The luck on this Pokemon is just... It's hitting us five times. This is freaking ridiculous. Oh, my God. 
So here we go, flying press for the win. How about that? Suck it, Rigger Ninja. You know, it's always good using uh, the same move. Using the move for yourself, but god dang. And there you go, Nacho grows to level 42, and Blade finally goes to level 40. Nova at level 39, and there you go. Alrighty, so... Yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're kicking some butts, taking some, taking some names right here, and well... <sighs> Serena is going to be like, oh, wait, the whole Pokemon crew is going to be here. She's like, wow, that was a really intense battle. Oh, hi, Shauna. When did you start watching? So where's Tierney? He's at the fighting dojo. Really? The fighting dojo? Sorry I'm late, everybody. Huh. I was having so much fun uh, with a sparring dance that I totally lost track of time. So, Tierna, you uh, have you found any good Pokemon in your dance team? Yep, I sure did. I'm super close to my ideal dance team. That's great. Good for you. Hey, everybody. Let's go to that scary house. The one by Laverse City? That's just a rumor, isn't it? Come on. Let's let's all let's all go find out if the rumor is true altogether. <sighs> I think I'll pass. I'm sure that uh, I'm sure it's just a rumor, and I just want to spend my some time with my Pokemon before heading into the Laverse City. Uh, okay. Uh, bye. So. Is it literally, or is it really that scary? Let's go and see for ourselves, Tierno. There's always some reason rumors like that get started. Oh, okay. Alrighty. So everybody's leaving, and, uh, well, she's like, huh. Okay. Why are you traveling, Dravid? Everyone is is working really hard at what they what they want to do, but I just want all the memories. I, I'm, I'm kind of just goofing around. She kind of is. Just kidding. Okay, so what I'm going to do right here is I am going to pause real quick, guys, getting a phone call. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so we're back, and well, there are a few things that you can find right here, like right down the middle of the sand. You'll be able to find yourself a super potion. That's not too hard to do. And, uh, well, let's see. Are there anything? Well, is there anything else? You can, you can actually slide down right here. Look at that, slide down and all that. Okay, so let's see. There's probably something else. Yeah, there is a Pokeball right there. Let's go ahead and grab that. And right here, you'll be able to find yourself a rare candy. Something that, well, shouldn't be needed, but is needed. And we're going to be going straight into the forest right here. And you're going to be finding yourself some interesting Pokemon around this area. Some of them, Victory Bells. Not Victory Bells, but... Uh, what was it? Weeping Bells and all that stuff. And, well, would you look at that? Carnivine wants to attack us. That is a big mistake because I don't want to, I don't want to mess with this Pokemon right here. So, let's go right ahead. And continue getting attacked. And it looks like to me it's going to be a Horde right here. And the Horde happens to be Bellsprout. And I, I was kind of, I was kind of like, you know, anticipating a shiny Pokemon like I did a few episodes ago. So... Yeah, we're not going to capture these Pokemon either. We're just going to move move a, like our mosey along and just uh, do our thing right here. Let's see. There might be something that you could find, which is right there. You're going to be finding a, a marsh. And if you go right here, you'll find yourselves a cleanse tag, which uh, could, could repel some wild Pokemon right there. And I didn't know that you could actually be attacked like that. So here we are getting attacked by a freaking Quagsire. Holy jeebus. Okay, so we're going to run away because, yeah, Quagsire is not... Yeah, it's definitely not the Pokemon we want to mess around with right now. So let's see. Advanced tips. A Pokemon with a scrappy ability can hit can hit a ghost type with fighting or normal type moves. So we're going to have to find a Pokemon with that if that ever occurs to us. And, uh, well, we're out of the marsh and we're going to get attacked again by more Pokemon. I think... Yeah, we're, <coughs> we, we, we definitely need to find, uh, well, we definitely need repels on and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and run away right here because we don't need to get attacked by any Pokemon right now. And, uh, well, let's see. Again, repels. We need repels. Lots and lots of repels. And would you look at that? We have found ourselves a Goomy. So, Goomy. This Pokemon right here is a is is weak, literally the weakest one of the weakest Pokemon right here. 
and I kind of want to capture it. So let's see if we can, let's see if we can ca capture it right now. And well, it looks like that's a no right there. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay, so uh, my bad. Let's go ahead and continue on our adventure. Let's talk to this person, and she's gonna be like, "Look, what? I, look what I found! It's a trainer." Okay, a trainer. Let's see what this Pokemon Ranger has uh, to give us. She, her name is Melina, and she will be coming out with an Arbok. And uh, well, that Intimidate is going to is going to hurt us. So let's go right ahead and use a Bulldoze attack right here. And Bulldoze nearly defeats Arbok. And here comes a Stockpile. So this one will increase both its def its defenses. So let's go right ahead and do this again. Another bulldoze. And Jeebus! This Arbok is uh Yeah, this Arbok is waiting for something special right here, so I think the next one will do it. So let's go right ahead and do it one more time. Bulldoze for the win. And just like that, say goodbye to Arbok. And uh well. That right there will increase the goat Jordan's uh, H or levels by uh, by one more. And here comes a Pyroar. This is going to get bad because, well, it's raining, and Fire type Pokemon, yeah, they don't like they don't like Water type. They don't like the rain or anything like that. So let's go right ahead and use Sharp Tooth for this one. And, uh, well, here comes an unnerve. Sharp Tooth looking very menacing. Let's go with an ancient power attack right here. And that doesn't do anything. So here we go. Ancient power for the win. Nearly does it. Let's try it one more time. And, oh my god. I think we should use Stealth Rock, but that really doesn't do much. So here we go again. Stealth Rock, or not Stealth Rock, but, uh, what was it? Ancient Power for the win. And there you go. Nearly grows to level 41, and Melina is not happy right now. Huh, okay. So, let's go right ahead and move on right here. And, uh, well, there is a Pokeball right there, so let's go right ahead and grab that. Right here. And here we found ourselves a big mushroom, which... Of course, you could, you probably could sell for a lot of money right there. Did I ever tell you guys about Generation 4? How much I hate the marshes? I'm pretty sure. Have I ever told you guys how much I hate Generation 4? Yeah. It's kind of the reason why I kind of want to get over, over and done with it. So, let's get the heck out of here. And uh, let's move on to the next thing. Because I don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. And, well, here we are getting attacked yet again. And here we are going up against another Goomy. Alrighty, we got Goomy. You know what? I'm going to try and capture it. I'm going to try and capture this Pokemon with, uh, with a Pokeball right here. So let's go with a Dive Ball since it is kind of like a water type Pokemon. And here we go. Damn it. Okay, so this Pokemon is not going to get captured like that. It does have Body Slam. And uh, that is a critical hit. So let's go right ahead. Let's go ahead and use uh, Nova right here. Alrighty. Let's go, Nova. Let's see what we can do. And here comes a Rain Dance. Let's go. Thunder Wave Attack right here. And look at this. Yeah, buddy, you are now paralyzed, my friend. So, there we go. You can now move. And, you know what? Parabolic Charge could help us out right here. So, let's see if this actually works out. And it does, because it's not super effective. So, let's go ahead and try it one more time right here. And, there we go. So, we're just... We're just going to be chomping at the bit right here with this guy. So let's go again. Parabolic Charge. And not so effective. Here comes a Body Slam. And let's try it again. And there we go. We're just, we, we're just regenerating and all that stuff. And 
Well, here comes a flail attack. That is super, that, that is very powerful. So let's go ahead and use a Pokeball right here. And there we go. Pokeball. Stay in there. Come on. One, two, three, and there we go. Alrighty, so there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Gumi, and, well, Sharptooth grows to level 41 right here. And, uh, well, <laughs> here we have Gumi, the Dragon-type Pokemon. It is a soft tissue Pokemon. It's covered in slimy membrane that makes any punches or kicks slide off it harms harmlessly. So, we're going to be giving this Pokemon a nickname. So, I will be right back with you guys after we give the nickname and uh, see who we replaced. Alrighty, guys, so we're back, and, well, the Pokemon we replace is Sharptooth because of obvious reasons. It, it It's working. It worked. But I kind of wanted to use a new Pokemon right here. And we bequeathed the name Moko. Translation, Booger. Because, well, pretty much because of the, uh, the Pokedex uh, entry. You know, the membrane and all that stuff. Sligu, sluggy, you know, membrane. Boogers are membranes. So, say hello to Moko right here, guys. And, uh, well, as you guys can see, it has the ability Sap Sipper. I did give it the Lucky Egg so it can, it can catch up to our Pokemon. Now, right now, it is not a very fast Pokemon, guys. It really isn't. So, we got to level this Pokemon up as quickly as possible. And uh, it kind of sucks because uh, I kind of wanted to evolve it right here both times and all that stuff but it looks like we're gonna have to wait until quite possibly later on in our in our adventure and look at this we are finding ourselves a shellman now this is probably a good time to uh yeah this is probably a good time for me to just yeah put repels because i really really don't want to get attacked by more pokemon right here so let's go ahead and use a repel and uh well, the repels are going to be right here, I think. I hope. Probably. I don't know. Ah, yes. There you go. And so, the repels have been put in. And let's see what this guy... Good gravy. To feel shame is to feel alive. In attempt to never forget that, I battle against strangers like you. Ah. Okay, so here it is, guys. Taking on Pokemon Ranger Nash. I always thought Nash was an ugly name, but whatever. Here he comes out with his own Sligu, or Gumi. So it's Gumi versus Gumi. And I do not trust mine right now because it, this this other guy is at level 38. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to Star Fox right here. Alrighty, Star Fox, how's it going? What you doing? Right here, switching it out. And Gumi, this Gumi is going to go with a Body Slam. Hopefully I doesn't paralyze my Pokemon. And, well, let's go straight for a Psy Shock. And just like that, guys, Gumi has been defeated. Well, his Gumi. And well, thanks to the lucky egg, Moko gets a little bit more, uh, a little bit more points right there. So this should be quick. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and move on to the next area right here. And we're gonna get attacked again. I've known forever since my previous life that we would meet here today and face off. Huh, you don't say. Okay, so here we are taking on Hex Maniac Anina, and she's coming out with a Litwick right here. And Moko probably does have a chance because, well, it is raining. So we're gonna go straight for a Dragon's Breath right here. And that, well, that took a little bit. And oh my god, what is going on? That's a Hex. Okay, so let's go again, Dragon Breath, because remember, normal type moves can't affect ghost types right now, and there we go, comes another Hex, so this is battle of the the tiny ones right here, guys. Let's go, Moko, come on! Full power, Dragon Breath attack right here, and that does it! Look at that, look at that, and, well, we get some more experience points, and here comes a Haunter, so let's go right ahead and switch out to Star Fox. And uh, let's see what this guy can do right here. So here we have Star Fox and Haunter is coming out. And we are going to be ready to go right here. Here we go. Let's get to Psy Shock. And just like that, Haunter has been defeated. What now? 
Okay. And uh, would you look at this? Nova grows to level 40 and it's learning Volt Switch. This move is a bit stronger. So let's go ahead and give it to switch out Parabolic Charge since it's not that much of an effective move anymore. And there you go. And, uh, well, yeah, she lost. I rewrote history. What now? Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. So let's see. Super Potion. There you go. And, uh, well, let us move on to the next section right here. And, uh, well, again, we're going to be going through some swamps, marshes, and all that stuff. And, uh, like I said before, this reminds me, this totally reminds me of Generation 4, guys. Absolutely hate it. And, well, even though we have repels on, we're still going to get attacked right here by a Stunfisk. This is annoying because, well... Yeah, I want nothing. I want nothing to do against this Pokemon. So, I, I guess we should just uh, let's see. I guess we should switch out our Pokemon that way we don't get attacked. So let's see. Let's go to Nova, and let's go right ahead and let's go right ahead and try and attack this guy, or you know, what, let him attack us. Alrighty, let's go. Alrighty, so here we have another Pokemon Ranger, and he his name is Reed, and he will be coming out with a Poliwhirl, so I chose correctly on this one right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and use a Volt Switch for this one. So Volt Switch gets it, nearly defeats Poliwhirl. We're going to be switching it out to, let's go with, let's go with Moko, alright? Let's see what Moko can do. And that is not going to be super effective, but we're going to, yeah, our speed has fallen just a little bit. So here comes a body slam attack. And that nearly defeats Moko. So here we go, Dragon Breath for the win. And just like that, we have defeated another Pokemon trainer. And, well, Moko gets some points, level 33. And Nova with the help, and well, we're gonna be taking on a fracture. This Pokemon is uh, quite scary, so let's go back, or actually, let's go with Dewblade right here and uh, see what we can do. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So here we have Blade ready to go, and Fracture looking like a freaking beast of a Pokemon. So let's go straight for a Swords Dance. And I think with that taunt, that will enable us... That won't... Yeah, of course. Shadow Sneak. Okay, Shadow Sneak. Here we go. And not super effective, but here comes a Dragon Claw. And yes, thanks to our Steel Tech capability, this Pokemon won't do anything. And our Rocky Helmet has been replaced. Well, has been given to our Pokemon right here. So let's go straight for a Night Slash. Go ahead, keep on being physical because you're not going to win like this. Yeah, buddy. There we go. And just like that, another victory for us. And Blade grows to level 41 and wants to learn Power Trick. Strategic, but I'm not going to change anything right now. So let's go ahead and do not do that. And Star Fox grows to level 46. And here comes a Loudred, so we're going to go back and uh, let's go with Nacho Libre himself. Let's see. Let's go. And, uh, well, here comes Pokemon Ranger Reed with his Loudred. And, well, let's go straight for a Flying Press attack. And Nacho finishes off Loudred. Okay, alrighty. And just like that, Nacho grows to level 43. And, uh, well, Pokemon Ranger Reed, he's not happy. He is not happy at all. Okay. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next area right here. Again, I hate this area. Now, you can surf through this whole, uh, the, the dark spots. And, uh, well, we're going to be finding ourselves a Roselli Berry right here. And, uh, well, let's see. There will be an item. So let's go ahead and talk to her. Do you like fairy tales or reality more? I don't know. Maybe when I was a kid? I don't know. 
That's a that's a good question that you know I, I really don't know. So we're taking on another fairy tale girl, and she's got a flowette right here. So let's see. It is a fairy type Pokemon, so with this surf, it will be boosted. And uh, here comes a pedal a pedal blizzard. That right there won't do anything. And uh, well, with the lift leftovers, Nova is going to get some uh, some points back. So let's go right ahead and use another surf attack with the help of this rain. And there you go, Floet has been defeated. Alrighty, okay, and uh, well. We get a little bit more points off our leftovers. And, well, let's see. Slurpuff is coming in. Let's go with Nacho because it does have a Poison-type move. It will work. So, let's see what we got. Nacho. How's it going, Nacho? And uh, Nacho going up against a Slurpuff. And here comes its Poison Jab attack. And... There you go, and it's poison, so either way you look at it, we won, and here comes a Cotton Spore, and, uh, well, you gotta love that, you have to love that, and, well, Slurpuff has been defeated, what now? Okay, alrighty, so, Jordan the Goat has grown to level 42, and Emojin has been defeated, oh yes. Alright, so who's next? Who is next in this uh, personal endeavor of ours? See that? I know big words, guys. And, uh, well, let's see. There's an item right there. And, like I said before, you can't surf right here, guys. So let's go ahead and grab this. Found ourselves a Hyper Potion. And let's go ahead and surf and see what, what lies onto the other side right here. And... There's nothing right there. Okay, so... I guess we're gonna have to surf. And... Jeebus, Crimity. Don't you just hate that? Right there, and... There it is, and, well... There is a trainer right here. We're close to being out, but... There is a trainer right here. Let's go ahead and battle her. When I look at the swamp, I can't help but to think of poison. I'm sorry. That really wasn't a very interesting thing to say. Here, take this as an apology. And we get ourselves a TM06 Toxic. This move is going to come in handy later on into our adventure right here. And yes, we're going to need another repel because good gravy. We're, yeah, we're not here to mess around or anything. So let's go right here. Surf. And uh, here we have found... A damp rock which extends the the lifetime of a rain attack right here so let's go ahead and do that and go back down and god dang it I hate these I really do I hate the swamp so once we get to this location here we have one of our rivals she's like come on this way and it looks like they found a haunted house right here so this is the house it is a scary house, isn't it? Well, I guess we should go inside. What? You're going inside? Are you all serious? Serena's off spending time with her Pokemon, so I guess we'll, we'll just have to go in without her and see if the rumor, are, the rumor is true by ourselves. I guess so. Let's go inside by ourselves then. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what this rumor is all about. Oh. Huh. Let's get started then. It was a dark and stormy night many years ago. Lost, I arrived at this house and went inside. The lights would not turn on, so I fearfully looked around the house. Eventually, I made my way into the kitchen. There was no sign of anyone being there. I found the fridge, and when I opened it, a faint light leaked out. I could finally make out my surroundings, and I saw the faint outline of a man huddling in the corner of the room. I tried to tell him that I, I was lost, and I was hoping that he'd, uh, he'd let me stay until the morning. But when I approached him, the man suddenly screamed, Stay back! I apologized and continued to plead my case. Please, can't you help me? I'm not talking to you, he shouted. 
I looked at this man, or I looked at the man in surprise. When I did this, the man asked me, Can't you see them? Behind you! A horde of faceless men. Okay, so, uh... Yeah. Now then, since I told a wonderful story that will always haunt you, would you be so kind to tip me? If you don't, you might see something very scary. Huh. You're charging us? Even haunted houses are for free, are for free, you know. Huh, <sighs> sure, why not? Let's go ahead and tip him his thousand. Okay, and uh Sheesh! Let's get out of here. Huh? It's over it's over already? I wasn't really listening. Was that the story you told really true? Huh. So, yeah, that was not haunted. <sighs> I guess it really was a, it, it really was a scary house in a way. Well, I know you wanted to go camping and that was kind of camping, I guess. People really usually re uh, tell scary stories by the campfire, right? I've had enough of dark places and scary things. I'd rather rehearse my dances. I'll see y'all later. Okay. What should I do next? I guess I'll go to Laverse City. See you later, Sensei. Please compare Pokedexes with me next time. Huh. Okay, so... Yeah, that was not the most scariest thing ever. But now, if you go right here, guys. Away from the, uh, the marshes and stuff. Come on. Gotta love the marshes, guys. If you go right here, you will be able to find yourself a spell tag. That right there actually helps out ghost type Pokemon. And, uh, well, we're going to be moving on ahead right here because, good gravy, I hate this place. Hate it with a god dang passion. There we go. And, uh, well, once we reach the end right here, guys, we are now in Laver City, the next place of our next conquest for Gym Battle Supremacy. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going to the gym yet again, earning another badge and winning a lot of things because we are awesome like that. So, thank you guys again for supporting. Thank you guys for, for being patient, as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.